Sarah Beanie reveals her hair is growing after shaving it off a mid-cancer battle. Sarah Beanie has revealed that her hair has grown back platinum blonde amid her breast cancer battle. The property expert first revealed her cancer diagnosis in August, and previously explained that she shaved her head last year after clumps of hair fell out at the start of chemotherapy. Since publicly sharing her diagnosis, the Channel 4 star has bravely documented her breast cancer journey on social media. Been giving followers updates about her chemotherapy and her day-to-day -day life while battling the disease. And now, the presenter took to Instagram on Thursday to show off her newly regrown bleached blonde crop. Sharing a beaming selfie of herself clad in a black turtleneck, she wrote, Look. My hair has grown back all platinum. Natural blonde. Many of the star's followers shared their delight about her new do in the comments. With one remarking, wow. Looks absolutely amazing. You rock it. I absolutely love it and you look amazing, another penned. A third wrote, looking so well, so glad life getting back on track for you, hair looks fab. The TV star's post comes a month after it was revealed that she had was back in hospital getting further treatment for her breast cancer. The property guru underwent another procedure at the Royal Marston and Yeovil hospitals on the 3rd of February. The 51-year-old sons shared her health update on their Instagram page, the entitled sons. Alongside a photo of her lying in a hospital bed. They quipped that she had got tattoos on her chest ahead of her latest stint under the knife. Which were in fact black markings for her surgery. Captioning the post, her sons wrote, Mum finally got some tattoos. Thank you so much to Royal Marston and Yeovil Hospital for taking such amazingly brilliant care of her. Beanie is best known for her work on UK property programs including help. My house is falling down and Sarah Bean is new life in the country. She previously said that she almost expected to develop the disease after losing her mum to cancer aged 39, when Sarah was just 10.